125 years ago, a new school celebrated its opening with the spelling bee and the singing of Home Sweet Home. It was 1882, the same year electric lighting came to the United States and Old West outlaw Jesse James was shot and killed, and 14 years before Henry Ford constructed his first horseless carriage. The school was Healdsburg Academy, the only Adventist school in the West, and it opened with two teachers and 26 students. Eventually, the school became Healdsburg College, and then Pacific Union College. For its first 26 years, the school remained in Healdsburg. Back then, student life was just a little different than it is today. This was the tail end of the Old West, and America was busy with the spread of the railroad, women's suffrage, and the invention of the car. Students studied shoemaking and blacksmithing and took care of school cows, horses, and gardens, in addition to studying subjects like history, Greek, and practical missionary labors. The first student publication came out two years after the school opened. It was called The Student Workshop and was published once a month. You could subscribe to The Student Workshop for 50 cents a year. At a Sabbath school rally, the money was raised for the Healdsburg Bell, which hangs in our bell tower today. It still calls the PUC community to worship and is rung by graduating seniors at the end of the year. In 1893, charges for room, lights, plain washing, tuition, and board for the school year were $161.50 for sunny rooms and $142.50 for attic rooms. Student life had thorough guidelines. A visitor to the college in 1896 observed the following evening schedule. After the working hour is over, each student can use the time until evening worship as he likes. Never visiting the town, however, without permission of the president. At 6.15, the bells ring for evening worship, when all are expected to be in attendance. Then follows the silent hour, after which all retire to their respective rooms for study. No talking above a whisper is then allowed in any part of the building. The study hour is continued until 9.30 when all lights must be put out and the students retire to rest. Pacific Union College had rather humble beginnings in a setting very different from today's California culture. But those pioneers of the Adventist movement, the hardworking teachers and leaders, started PUC on a mission that would make it a crucial player in Western American education. From its earliest years, the teachers were determined to train young people for lives of service a purpose that remains at the core of PUC's mission today.